Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri, wa yassir li amri, wa ahlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. A page 201, brothers and sisters. Uh, we will start from where we left yesterday. But I want to go back. Because yesterday we did some Quranic verses. And sometimes in doing something quickly, we overlook certain things. So I want to revise it, brothers and sisters. And this is your homework. You will take the Quran, Surah al Furqan, and you will study ayah number 27, 28, 29, and 30. And inshallah, you have the knowledge to understand it directly. Inshallah. You know, make an effort. I think most of it will be within your grasp to read the ayah and understand it, inshallah. Most of it. And as you, you know, grow stronger, it will become even more easier later on. Here is the verse that we did yesterday. What is the ayah number 27? Brothers and sisters, what is the ayah number 27? Yawma. Ya'uddu al-zalimu. Huh? Are you with me? Page 200, top. What is the ayah, uh, ayah, brothers and sisters? That is 27. It's Surah Furqan. 
See, we are studying the verb ittakhaza. In the, these four ayahs, ittakhaza has been used three times. Okay? So, yawma ya'addu zalimu ala yadayhi. Okay, brothers and sisters. I give you my, you know, way of sometimes checking it out. I understand it. Then sometimes I want to see what Abdullah Yusuf Ali is writing about. What Muhammad Asad is saying about this, you know. What, am I right the way I think as the way the scholars think? So sometimes I cross-check myself, you know. So, and also I take the help of Nurul Yaqeen all the time. And, and uh, word for word translation by Dr. Mohar Ali. These are my companions when I study Quran. These two books, brothers and sisters. And they help me a lot. So when I looked into Nurul Yaqeen, I found something very surprise, surprising, brothers and sisters. What was that? Brothers and sisters, Yauma, in your book, Yauma, what is Yauma we said? Zarf. Are you, are you sure? And then the rest of the sentence is Mudafilehi. Got the idea? And now, Nurul Yakin says that there is a verb mahzuf before Yauma. Okay? And this, once you know this, then most of the time you will recall, recall this. Huh? Yauma. Means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Udhukur. Okay? Udhukur. Fail Amar. Only Anta. Udhukur. Yauma. Remember the day. Huh? Okay? Remember the day. Brother, we are straight away going into the meaning. Straight meaning. You must understand. We are going straight into the Quran. Okay? Yawma. So, Udhkur. Uh, remember. On the day. What is Yawma? On the day. Now, this is, as I said yesterday, describing the scenery of Yawm al uh, Allah is describing uh, the scenery of Yawm al uh, Udhkur. Now, who is the uh, person who is being commanded? Prophet Sallallahu And today, when you read it, that command is to you. Remember. Remember. Huh? Yawma, on the day huh? when the zalim, the evildoers, the transgressors, okay, the disbelievers, huh? on the day, the evildoers will bite their hands. Okay? And then what will they say? While they are biting their hands, what will they say? Yakulu. Ya laitani. Oh, would that I had taken with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the straight path. The Sirat al Mustaqim. Sabila. What is the path of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Sirat al Mustaqim. Huh? He did not take that path. So he is in despair. And when you are in despair, what do you do, brothers and sisters? You bite your fingers. This is it, brother. Okay? So here, it tahastu, I had taken huh? a path with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or I had followed him to his path, you know. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is it clear to you? Inshallah. And then, brothers and sisters, that is ayah number 27. What is the next line? Ya Lata. That is ayah number 28. Suratul Furqan. Okay. Oh, my disaster. Woe to me. Okay. 
Laitani lam attakhiz. Would that I had not taken so and so as my friend. Are you with me? I had not taken so and so as my friend. So that is what we studied yesterday. And then I gave you verse number 30. But I did not write Wakala Rasul. So I thought I should explain you more so that you are 100% clear we are studying Quran here. Okay? Brothers and sisters, after he says, uh, Woe to me, uh, would that I had not taken so and so as a friend. Brother, Fulanan means so and so, anybody. Brother, and what is the next word? Khalilan. What is the meaning of Khalilan? Intimate friend. You become intimate with somebody. You rely on him. You trust him. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And after that, what that person is saying, that evil doer who is biting his hand and, and lamenting that while he was in on this earth, he took somebody else as a friend. So what happened? Number 29 verse, Lakad, Adallani, Anil Zikra. What is Zikra, brother? What is Zikra? Zikra means remembrance, reminder, and the Quran is called Zikra. The Quran is called a Zikra. Okay, lakad, brother. Once you know your language, what is lakad? What is lam? Alamu li kasmin mukaddari. Before that, there is a swearing. Uh, now it is said by the evil doers. So maybe he's saying wallahi, maybe because there is a kasam. Okay, so lam is for the kasam. Mukaddara and that is harfu tahkik. You cannot translate these things. We got to understand it. Huh? Adalla. What is Adalla? Dalla means he went astray. Adalla form four. Dalla is intransitive. Bring it into form four. Adalla. It becomes. You misguide someone. He misguided someone. Are you with me? So, Lakad Adallani. He led me astray. Who is that he? Uh, brother, who is he? You can say, no, he said, no. Lam Atakhis Fulanan Khalilan. So it goes to that person. Huh? Huh? And who can that person be? It goes without saying, brother. Okay. So, Lakad Adalla. Adalla. Felu Mahdin. Mabnun ala Fata. Fahil Mustatir. Takdiru Huwa. And Nunu Vikaya and Ya Mutakallim. Mafulun. Anil Zikra. From the Quran. He led me astray from the Quran. Bada is Jaa. Bada is the Ja'ani. After the Quran had come to me, after the guidance had come to me, huh, he led me astray. Okay? Wakana Shaitanu. Huh, brother? Wakana Shaitanu. Kana. What is Kana? Huh? Fialu nakis. See? Nakis. But remember, when it is used in this way, or it is used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it has got meaning in three tenses. He was, he is, and he will be. Kana shaitanu lil insan khazula. What is the meaning of khazula? What kind of a word, word is this? Uh, we are going to study. So inshallah, this is good that we are doing this, brothers and sisters. 
remember the version of this. What is the version? I write another word. What did I write? They are all on that pattern. What is that pattern? Huh? What does it signify? We are going to study here. So all of this is inshallah connected with our dars. Okay, brother? Kana shaitanu shaitanu ismu kana. Lil insani. Char majur. In where is khabar kana? Khazulani. Mansub. Khabar kana mansub. So what is the translation of this, brother? The shaitan is for a man an arch betrayer. He will lead him and then leave him in the middle. Okay? He will leave him in the middle. He will betray him. Okay? Now we are talking about... Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What are you talking about? On the day, we are talking about Yomul Qiyamah. We are talking about Yomul Qiyamah. And then, Waqala Rasul, when the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Huh? He will say, what is the meaning here? He will say, to whom he will say? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Rabbi, inna kaumi ittakhazu, again ittakhazu, haza al-Qur'an mahjura. Ittakhaza has two mafulun bihi, haza and then mahjura. What is mahjura? Sister Hamza, Mahjura. Mahjura. No. Sister Manas. Huh? No. Sister Maimuna, what is it? Isim Maful, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, I'm sure most of you know it. Isim Maful, remember. So all these things will come to you instantly. Huh? Oh, this is some mafool, this is some fine. But what is the verb? Hajara. To migrate or to give up something. So what is the meaning of mahjura, brother? Abandoned. Huh? Deserted. Forsaken. Out of use. Obsolete. Avoided. So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, Ya Allah, inna kaumi. Indeed, my people uh, took this Quran as an obsolete thing, you know, or they avoided it. Brothers and sisters, I was checking and I found a nice uh, translation which conveys the meaning. You see, I understand the meaning of Majura, uh, but sometimes in order to convey to other who does not know Arabic, uh, then we have to translate it. Okay, for that person. And the messenger, in the bracket it is written, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will say, will say, huh? because this is Yawm al it has to come. But Allah is already describing it in the Quran. Will say, oh my Lord, huh? verily my people deserted this Quran. Now when you desert something, what has happened? What happens, brothers and sisters, when you desert a thing? It means neither, neither listen to it, neither listen to it, nor acted on it laws and teachings. So when you don't act on the teachings of the Quran, and when you don't listen to it, what does it mean? It has no value to you. You are avoiding it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That will be the meaning of Mahjura. That will be the meaning of Mahjura. But we can easily say in our own way, Ittakhadu, which means to take or adopt uh, this Quran as a obsolete, of no value, uh, something that is to be avoided. Here I give you an example, brother. I was thinking, you are not well. You go to the doctor. And doctor gives you medicine. 
you see, oh, wow, I got a nice medicine. It will cure me. You come home and you put it on the shelf. And you put it in a nice box on the shelf. And you look at it every day. Do you think you are cured? You don't take that medicine. You are just looking at it. It is lying on the shelf. The bottle is closed. And you think you got a cure for your disease? No. It has to be swallowed in in order to make you better. But if you leave that medicine on the shelf all the time, brother, it means you have no value for that medicine. Huh? You discarded it. This, this is the situation with us with Quran. We put it in the nice box. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We put it in the nice box, put it on the shelf, huh? and leave it there. Okay. I have read a very nice poetry in Urdu. It is called Quran ki Faryad. Huh? Quran ki Faryad, you know? The, what will you call Faryad? Complain. Huh? Complain of the Quran. And I'm trying my best put, to put a little melody on it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I haven't polished it. I'm still trying. It's in Urdu, Sister Maimuna. But it is so powerful. I will, will tell you now. I'm, uh, and if it is good, then later on I will record it, brother. Huh? Are you listening? This is written by Mahir Kadri, a very famous poet of uh, Pakistan. He passed away recently. May Allah have mercy on him. He was a, a great person and eye opener for many people, you know. Taakon pe sajaya jata hu. Aankhon se lagaya jata hu. Are you following me? Taakon me. When you put it on the shelf. Huh? And then, and you put your eyes. Huh? Taakon pe sajaya jata hu. Aankhon se lagaya jata hu. Taaviz banaya jata hu. Dho dho ke pilaya jata hu. I'm made into a taaviz. You know people put it here or here. That's all we do in the Quran. And then when somebody is sick, we pour the water on the Quran. And let that person drink the water. It happens, brother. And then, brother and sister, what does he say? Juzdan hari resham ke. Hari is silk. I mean, resham is silk. Hari degree. Juzdan hari resham ke. Or pool sitare chandi ke Firitar ki barish hoti hai Kushbo me basaya jata hum. What is happening, Sister Mahmuna? That I'm put in a nice silk cloth, you know. I'm wrapped in a silk cloth, you know. And then on that silk, I put with the thread of silver stars and moon. And on top of that, I put a lot of perfume. Eh? Eh, so that I always live in fragrance. This is my position. Juzdan hari resham ke Aur pool sitare chandi ke Firitar ki barish hoti hai Khushbu me basaya jata hum Jis tarah se tota maina ko Kuch bol sikhaye jate hai Are you with me? 
the way you teach parrot certain words. Huh? You teach a parrot or any other bird some words and that bird is going to repeat those words. Are you with me? Just tara se tota maina ko kuch bol sikhaye jate hai is tara padaya jata hu is tara sikhaya jata hu Are you with me brother and sister? Just tara se tota maina ko कुछ बोल सिखाए जाते हैं इस तरह पढ़ाया जाता हूँ इस तरह सिखाया जाता हूँ This is the way I have been taught as you teach a parrot some words my position is similarly that I am taught like that to people there are more verses, brother. I'm not going to sing the whole. I'm not thoroughly finished with it. Uh, if I feel, I will add it in the end of the uh, DVD. But it is such a moving poem, brother and sister. What is it called? Complain of the Quran. Uh, this is the way we take Quran for granted. And in that poster, this is the verse mentioned. وَقَالَ رَسُولُ And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Rabbi, inna kawmi ittakhadhu hadha al-Qur'ana mahjura. Now this is a warning to us, brother. We may not fall into this category of people, brother. Again, different scholars will give a different meaning. And I was curious, what is the uh, other commentator saying, so I went to Muhammad Asad, message of the Quran. How does he translate? I like it, brother. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he said, verily my people, then he writes in the bracket, some of them. Are you with me? Not the whole ummah, but some of them. So brother, we should not be in one of those some of them. We should understand Quran, ponder over it, and implement it in our life, the teachings of the Quran. So can you see now the connection between all those four verses, brothers and sisters? You know? And this is the way I hope that uh, you will all understand, you know, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters? Now the homework is, you will read four verses of Surah Furqan. And see how many verbs are there. Are you with me? And I'm sure you understand every verb in it. Huh? You will understand everything in it, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brother. We move forward now. Yajudu an tadkhula zanna ala anna. It is permissible that the verb zanna will enter on Anna. What is Anna? What is Anna, brother? Min akhwatu inna. Wa an. And what is an? Harfu nasbin wa mastariyin. So what happens then? Fa yun sabu. This is majhul. Al masdarul mu'awwalu. This is your naive file. Huh? Are you with me? Make it al masdaru, al mu'awwalu. Because it is your knife file. Allah maf'uliyati. Now what is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? I am giving you the meaning of fayun sabu. Mastar mu'awwal is regarded as mansub. Are you with me? Yun sabu al mastaru mu'awwalu. Mastar mu'awwal is regarded as mansub. When it is regarded as mansub, what do you do? Says Absa, when it is regarded as mansub, what do you do? Fi mahalli. What would it be? Fi mahalli. At that time, you will use the expression, Fi mahalli. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Fi mahalli nasbin. Huh? So, ala mafuuliyati means, brother and sister, 
for being the maf'ool. For being the maf'ool. That's the meaning of it. Okay? I repeat one more time. The master mu'awwal is regarded, brothers and sisters, as mansub hmm, fi mahalli nasbin, for being the object, for being the maf'ool. Huh? No, look for it. And watch for it. But then how do you explain? Now this is very interesting. Waya subdu masadda. Are you with me? What is yasuddu? Okay? It is mudarya. What is madi? Sadda. Huh? What is the madi, brothers and sisters? Sadda ya suddu mafu hu laini. Inshallah, you will write it down, brothers and sisters. Huh? So, sadda, ya suddu is to block. Masaddu is, is a smu makan. What is it? Masaddu is a smu makan, the place. Are you with me? And then, ya suddu masadda, masadda is mafulun bihi. It belongs to the place. Place of what? Uh, it is mudaf, and where is mudaf ilahi? <coughs> Mafulaini. That is your mudaf ilahi. Got, got the idea? So it means it occupies the place of two mafuls. And how do you describe it in grammar? Uh, how? No, you will describe yasuddu masadda mafulaini. This is the way you will describe it. Are you with me? Because when you say Yasuddu Masadda Mafulaini means it replaces the two mafuls which are supposed to be there. Now this will only be said when Zan is followed by Sister Maimuna Anna. Huh? What is it? When Anna or An. When it comes, then you won't see two mafulun bihis. Huh? The whole sentence has come. It means anna wa ismu anna wa khabar anna. This whole sentence is occupying the place of two mafuls. Huh? Two mafuls. Are you with me? I'm sure you have experienced this somewhere. Are you with me? If you ride a bus, and sadly, a very big person comes, very fat person comes. He occupies the seat. But he takes two seats. He's only one person. But he fills in two seats. So what do you say? Rajalu, this fat man, what did he do? Yasuddu Masadda Rajulaini. He has replaced two people. Uh, he has substituted two people. He fill in the place of two people. So this is how, you know, inshallah, if you write this sentence, keep that in mind. 
And it happens you have come across this situation somewhere in your life. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Any question you want to ask? Rajulaini, huh? two men. Rajulun, Rajulani, Rajulaini. Hadar Rajulu. This man is taking or replacing two people because he is so wide. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, now, having understood that, we go more in detail, brothers and sisters. Look at it, brothers and sisters. Al imtihanu sahlun. Muftada khabar. Are you with me? Azunnu. I think. Okay, I'm assuming. What are you assuming? An al imtihana sahlun. So, brother, Anna has come. What is al imtihana? Ismu Anna. What is sahlun? Khabarana. Uh, uh, brother Arunu needs two mafulun bihi. So you will say, huh? uh, Al Master Al Muawal. Remember, Anna plus Ismu Anna wa Khabar Anna is Master Muawal. Are you with me? So what will you say after words, brother and sister? You will describe Anna, Mina Khawatu, Anna, and Imtihana, Ismu Anna, Sahalun. Khabar anna, and what will you say after that? Al master al muawal yasuddu masadda mafulain. It has replaced two mafuls. Got the idea, brother and sister? So this is to be written if you are to explain it in grammar. That's the only way you can explain. Huh? Because instead of two maful, you have a sentence now. And that sentence, what is that sentence? Al Mastar Al Muawal. How did you get that, that Al Mastar Al Muawal? Anna plus Ismu Anna and Khabar Anna. That is a whole sentence. That whole sentence has come in place of to Maful. And remove that Anna. What will you say? Azunnu, Azunnu Al Imtihana Sahlan. Uh, what will you say? Azunnu al imtihana sahlan. Two mansub. Very clear. But now bring anna, then we have a master muawal. And it takes the place of two mafur. Got the idea? Inshallah, it is clear, brothers and sisters. Do you think I should explain still more? Is it clear, inshallah? Fine. I give you. Another example, brother. Azunnu anna bilalan. Azunnu anna bilalan. Anna bilalan maridun. Translate, brother. I think that the bilal is sick. Bilal is sick. Fine, brother and sister. Don't use anna. And you straight to maful. What will you say? Azunnu bilalan maridan. Now you used anna. So you said, Azunnu anna bilalan maridun. So here, al mastar al muawal. Okay? Yasuddu masadda mafulaini. It took the place of two. Mafuls. Do you have that blue book of Dr. Abdurrahim, brothers and sisters? It is very useful. Huh? That glossary. Look the meaning of Sadda Masadda there. It will explain very beautifully. In grammar, it means it fills the place of two mafuls. It functions as two mafuls. That is the meaning of this. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Sadda masadda mafulaini means it fills the place of two mafuls, or it functions as two mafuls. Huh? Inshallah, this is very clear. Huh? Brother and sister, I have said to you before, book three has so much information that 
unless you work very hard and you are very sharp and intelligent, uh, we will tend to forget. And I forgot a, a lot of it. The only way I got it back, by revising it. Huh? So inshallah you will revise it. And if you forget, here is my advice to you. Do not blame yourself. There is nothing wrong with you. Uh, except that sometimes it takes longer for her, us to retain in our mind. So do not blame yourself, but just keep on working, brother. Keep on working. Be consistent in your effort. Revise it, and you will get it. And once you get it, you will never ever forget it. Brothers and sisters, I look at this way. My relationship with Quran is forever. As long as I breathe, I have a relationship with Quran every single day. And in order to understand Quran directly, brothers and sisters, I have to brush up my Arabic. Huh? In other words, I must revise the things that I have studied huh? so that I'm always on top of it. And with a practice, you will become expert, brothers and sisters. You will never forget. Huh? That revision will be only in the beginning. Later on, you will know everything. So just keep on your hard work, brothers and sisters, and trust Allah to bless you, to bless us all with knowledge and wisdom and strong memory, inshallah. inshallah. Now comes, brothers and sisters, fitan zil, walakin zanantum, but zanantum. Okay, brothers and sisters, zanantum, here is our Zanna. Okay? So where are two mafuls? Anna Allaha. What is Allaha? Ismu Anna. Where is Khabar Anna? Yilla ya lamu kasiran mimma ta maluna. But you thought, you all thought, huh? Lakin Zanantum. But you all thought that God does not know very much about what you do. Huh? This is what it means, brothers and sisters. Now, remember, this was Anna. Now, the other thing is An. This was one form of Master Mu'awal. Now, our old usual form. What is our usual form of An? Master Mu'awal. An plus Fel Mudariya Mansu. Okay. Look at this, brother. Ma zanantu. What is the meaning of ma zanantu, brother? I did not think. An yar suba ahmadu. Ahmadu, brother and sister, is the file of yar suba. I did not think that Ahmad failed. That Ahmad failed. Now, <coughs> now, brother and sisters, I want you to look at the next sentence which Dr. Sahib has produced. What is that? Ma zanantu. So here is zanantu. Okay. Two mafuls. Ahmada and yarsubu. What is yarsubu? Jumla failia fi mahali nasbin. Got the idea? You got your two maful. But how will you describe this, brother? An yarsuba ahmadu. Al Master Al Muawal Yasuddu Masadda Mafulaini. Got the idea? Inshallah. Huh? You will remember this, huh? Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Kauluhu Ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. And this is from Surah Qayyama. But in order to understand, you know, Quran verse nicely, brother, we must go. Two, three verses before it, and two, three verses after it. Because they are all connected. Huh? The way I said this yesterday, Waqala Rasulu, and I said, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will say to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and Yom Il Qayama, it did not make a complete sense. This sentence came out of a blue. But when you go in sequence of verse number 27, 28, 29, 30, it follows. You know, the Zalims will say this, and then the Prophet will say this. 
Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So there is a sequence there. Okay, and it makes sense because that sequence describes the scenario of Yom al huh? Okay, now here is something. Wujuhum yawmaidin vasiratun. Are you with me? It's not there. Huh? But it is the verse before that. Are you with me, brother? Huh? What verse is this, uh, uh, Sister Hafsa? 25. So number 24 verse is this. Huh? The faces on that day will be basiratun. They will be terrified. Huh? They will be scared. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Their faces will be all black from terror. Okay? And what is, is the next verse? Tazunnu. Thinking. Those faces will be thinking. See, Tazunnu is a feminine. Huh? It goes to Wujuhun. Write down the sentence there in the book. It will be nice, brothers and sisters. Huh? What is the sentence? See the verse before this verse, Wujuhum Yaumaisin on that day, Basiratun. Okay. And now this is what they are thinking. Who are thinking? The owners of this faces. Owners of these faces are thinking. Tadunnu. Monas. We say in Urdu, Maunas ka siga hai. It refers to feminine pronoun. Okay. Tadunnu an yuf'ala. Now this is, brothers and sisters, majhul. Yuf'ala biha fakiratun. What is the meaning of this sentence? Thinking that some break, breaking calamity is going to fall on them. Yomul kayama. Now they are in their thought that some terrible thing is going to be inflicted on them. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So again, Tadunnu, where are two mafuls? Master Muhawal. How will you describe it? Yathuddu Masadda Mafulaini. Inshallah. 